my name is Tijani Abubakar and the name of my I'll say farm is Tulo Agro. We are into um, uh, fishing right now, it's a fishing industry. We produce fresh fish, smoked fish, uh, we produce um, fingerlings, we hash and then fish feeds as well. So we do everything pertaining fish. Right now it's close to two years, so um, I would say it's been a very, it has been a very wonderful journey. It was challenging, but it was a very enjoyable journey because with the progress we are making, you know, we started not long ago and we just started with fresh fish and a few ponds, but now, you know, we are planning on filling all our ponds. We have new farms coming up in Kuje and we do hashing now and as, as I said, you know, we produce feed and smoking as well. So it's been a very good journey and, you know, we have more to come in the future. My name is John Fish. I'm a chief consultant for Chulu Agro Farm. Chulu Agro is my home farm where I base. Uh, Chulu Agro is agri-business center. But right now we are into fish production. From the hatchery, they go to the nursery. We get grow our pond up to 24 pond, 60,000 capacity fish purpose. Now, to get the fish done, we have our own feed mill where we do our local floating feed to reduce the cost of production to make more gain. Now, out come another way we have our smoking area, dry fish area. That somebody can come and learn either hatchery or grow out feed meal or dry process, depends on what you want to learn. But the whole process can be learned in eight weeks. Both hatchery, grow out, feed meal and dry area. This is um, our nursery. When they reach a certain stage, we take them out, out upon. Yeah, so like this is me feeding them. When you're feeding, you put it in one place because they all gather to eat. You don't take it, you don't spread it around. Yeah. We're feeding the um, growers. We call them growers. Yeah, and this feed is actually made here in our farm because we have the um, feed meal machine. I do have some feeds too. So, yes. I'm actually trying to be careful because, yeah. Yeah, we have the growers and we have the table size. So yeah, these are the table size. We have actually, we actually have been selling them. We had like over um, 4,000, but now we have definitely less than that. And then we do have rootstock, which I will take you to follow my steps. I can I the But one thing that I think I should advise young people, you know, to do is, you know, don't look at the easy way or what everyone is doing, you know. Farming, I think, is one of the best ways. It's like gold too, you know. You have to look into farming because there is a lot of opportunities. You know, people might see it as local or small, but once you start, you know, the joy you get from it because you are helping youths and um, you are creating opportunity and you are still feeding the nation. Yeah, we started as, like two years ago and we trained about seven people. Seven who doesn't know anything about agriculture. They just come from zero level, we trained them and they are satisfied, they had a certificate. But we trained like five that knows about agriculture, like adult training. They come from more knowledge. The total of 12 people we trained so far. And we cause up for different farms. I think that's one of the most important things and uh, what you achieve from it because you are helping the country and you are feeding the country at the same time. So my drive when I started was, you know, 
just to look for investment, but once I started looking at the opportunities that farming was given, you know, I, I, I knew I could do a lot with it. So, you know, I think that's what's keeping me. My name is Emmanuel Izuchuku. I decided to come and maybe start from somewhere. And the fish, fishery is one of the aspects of agriculture that I've always cherished so much. You see, so that's why I signed up for the training. It has been a wonderful experience. Starting from a hatchery, um, they have been able to pull me through to know how to handle uh, fish when, uh, when you talk about hatchery. Then from there, I can tell you that I've also moved to nursery part where we train fish from um, uh, two, three weeks. I strongly believe that um, I must have learned all the departments in this uh, company, ranging from uh, <clears throat> hatchery to the final level. Then um, I will be able to establish my own uh, fishery farm, no matter how small it might look, but I'm interested in it. Uh, so my expectation is to have my own farm, my own fishery farm. Like youths of nowadays that don't have employment opportunities, they can come and learn and start up with their own. And after every training, you know, we do encourage youth, we give them like free fingerlings, up to 500, you know, or we give them some trainings for free. So in that way, you know, we're helping youths, you know, go into farming and see the benefits so they can be able to empower other people and you know, we want other, uh, like young people to, to look into farming as a thing uh, for the future. So like to uh, improve our economy and make Nigeria, you know, a <laughs> better place. Yeah. Start agriculture in the right way. Then, you know, agriculture is a very large something, but people jump in and jump and say agriculture is not profitable. We are trying to show people that agriculture is the best way today to bring Nigeria out of poverty, full security, Number one, feed the nation and the youth, they are taking part, they are learning. When they learn finish, we support them with our, uh, we call it grants, for them to be self-employed when they finish. I do have some feeds too. So yes, I'm active. Always have passion for what you're doing. And whenever you start something, you know, don't just give us, because you are going to face a lot of challenges. But once you have passion, you know, keep going through because, you know, whatever you're doing, you're going to face challenges, but it's the drive that keeps you going. And of course, you know, like capital is one of the challenges, but you know, there is always a way or there is something, you can always start small, start at your own capacity. Don't do too much. Because when I started, I started with 1.5 thousand, you know, almost everything, all of them died. But I didn't, that didn't stop me. You know, I kept on trying, you know, I lost a lot, but now, you know, I can only be happy for, you know, because you learn from your mistakes. So whatever happens from you, you know, just learn from you and try and do it better next time. My name is Tijani Abubakar and um, welcome to Tuluwa Grove.